Welcome to part 9 of the HMS Valiant build-up. Made a little bit of progress on the kit that I thought I would uh, share with you. Um, we got one of the tricky jobs done, or five of the little tricky jobs done actually to be quite honest. Uh, we got the little ladders in on the sides now, so we got one there, one there, and it's exactly the same on the other side. And then we've got another um, set of ladders in up here as well. This one uh, was quite tricky. I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to see these uh, on the camera or not because they are quite dark. But we we'll zoom in and see if we can see them. So there you go. There's uh, there's one of the little ladders there. Let's just zoom out slightly. There we go. These actually were quite tricky because. Um, these back ones, we've got one on the other side that's exactly the same. Uh, all of these have to be bent at 45 degree angles, so you've got the actual steps on the photo edge itself that need to be bent out at a 45 degree angle. Then you've got the sides that need to be bent in at a 45 degree angle. Then you've got this top plate that needs to be bent backwards at a 45 degree angle. And then there's a railing on top of that that then needs to go that way at a 45 degree angle. Um, you know, so it's it's a bit like origami, but with um, brass instead. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they took a little bit of time to actually get right. I think it took me uh, about two hours just to do the the two back um, ladders. Uh, I know that sounds like an awful lot of time to do two ladders, but by the time you've actually sort of done the steps and then started bending everything around, and you've got to be careful with it how you do it because these are so fragile if you're um, over enthusiastic with it you're going to start snapping things off so it all has to be done very very slowly and calculated um, and then you've just got the top part to glue as well so you've got the railing there that sort of glues onto the railing that goes on the back um, and then you need to wait for that glue to dry then you've got to sort of glue that onto the sort of side of the ship and whatnot so yeah it does take a little bit of time and then if we can um, pan round to the front, I'm not sure whether we're going to see that, yeah there you go, you can see it just about so we've got another ladder um, just there as well um, that one was a little bit tricky getting in, I mean that one wasn't too bad actually I mean again, you know, steps have to be bent at a 45 degree angle and then the sides need to come in at a 45 degree angle uh, but that's it, so they're not quite so tricky the tricky thing with these ones actually, um, and what I should have really done, was I should have got those in first before I got the middle section in. Um, it would have made it slightly easier to get those ones in, but we, we did manage to get those in. These have all been glued in as well, by the way, with uh, just a, a dab of canopy glue as well. Um, just so <clears throat> when they're sort of down, I can then just jostle them about a little bit to, to actually get them into the final resting place. Whereas if I'd have used um, super glue, uh, as soon as I laid them down, that would have been it. They would have been stuck. So as I said, we got that uh, another one of those on the other side too. And then if we just go up a little bit, uh, you can see there uh, we've got this little ladder here. Now this little ladder um, was a right wall pane in the backside to uh, get in. I mean that was like threading the cotton through the eye of the needle. Um, you've got a gap in the top platform here, but this ladder is actually too wide to go through that platform. So the only way that you can get this ladder in is by threading it through and up. Um, and when you've got everything glued into place, because you do need this middle structure glued into place to actually get that in and through, because uh, it is resting on this platform, it does actually start to make the whole sort of thing a little bit tricky to do. But we managed to get it in, uh, and that's actually now all glued in place as well. So that's absolutely fantastic. I love the fact that we've got those in, and it does actually help to add um, a little bit more detail to this ship as well. So I'm really happy that we got those done. Um, and that's another five of the little tricky jobs um, over and done with. Uh, the other thing that we need to do as well is where we've got these two little holes uh, here, uh, we need to get some more guns in place. So I just need to get all of those built up. We've also got another two that go on the other side as well. Uh, so I just need to get those built up, get them sprayed. Um, I've got the photo etch 
uh, brass barrels that need to go on those as well. So there does need to be a little a little bit of customising with those ones. Um, so you know they are going to be a little bit tricky, but they should still be okay. So that's my next job really is to get those sorted out and get those done. Uh, in between painting all the little men that I've got as well. So I'm going to carry on, get those bits done, and as soon as um, I've got some more work done to those, I will come back to you. So I've managed to uh, get a little bit more work done to the kit now. We've got the rear life boats installed uh, on the ship now. That's just basically a stack of five on each side there. Uh, and they were pretty much all stacked up the same way that the, uh, the ones on the back of the... Uh, the, uh, the middle superstructure would put on. So the good thing is they're in, that's something else that's done. The other thing that I've been working on this evening is these little guns. Um, these, believe it or not, I've actually taken, these four guns have actually taken me all night to do. Uh, they're quite fiddly, you have to uh, snip off the old barrels, then drill through the plastic to insert these ones so that's quite tricky it's a bit time consuming uh, considering there's eight of them as well there that does take a little bit of time and there's actually um, one two three four five six seven so there's seven pieces per gun and as I say they just just really really slow going fiddly work just to sort of get everything in properly unfortunately one of them did go in a little bit wonky um, fortunately there's nothing I can do about that now I've tried to strain that up as best as I can but um, it is just a little bit wonky but never mind so all I need to do now is uh, just get those uh, sprayed off um, and once they're uh, once they're sprayed down they will then um, sit in those little gaps just there and then on the other side as well and that will mark an end really to most of the uh, most of the build to the uh, the, the superstructures on this uh, kit. There will only be a, a, a few little bits left to go really, uh, which would be fantastic. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. So as soon as I've got those uh, completely painted and installed, um, I will come back to you. Managed to get a bit more work done to the kit uh, this evening. Um, we've got the guns that I put together yesterday, uh, we've now got those painted and in place and they're exactly the same on both sides um, and I've also now got the uh, the guns in down the side there as well so they're starting to look pretty good um, they're not really showing up that well actually because they're all the same colour as that part which obviously um, is, is a deliberate thing uh, but if we uh, zoom in a little bit hopefully you should be able to see them uh, sticking out a bit there there you go, yeah, you can actually see them sticking out. Uh, and the good thing is, these do um, actually turn as well. So we can actually turn the guns around a little bit like that as well. So that's that's good. They uh, they move about. So really happy with those. They just need uh, another coat of paint on the, uh, the barrels just to um, help get those in properly. Um, the other thing that I have actually done, and I don't think you're going to see this, uh, I've actually painted the inside of the uh, life rafts there a different colour as well as they should be um, on the factory uh, instructions um, and we've also done the same um, at the end of the ship as well with these ones here and on the other side and also the ones that um, are in there as well um, so they've also been painted a slightly different colour on the inside. I think it's the um, Ocean Grey 2 I think it is I've used for that. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah it's the uh, the Tamiya uh, Ocean Grey 2 which is the XF82 that I've used for those uh, just to help get those uh, the bottoms uh, of those done. Um, but she's starting to look really good now actually. I'm uh, really happy with the way that she's starting to turn out and uh, she's uh, she's almost complete actually to be honest there's not much left to go on the actual ship itself um, there's only a few more little bits and pieces that I can put on it before I do need to get it onto the uh, the seascape and finish her off um, so hopefully um, pretty soon we'll uh, be able to get her on the seascape uh, so that's about it for the moment I will come back to you as soon as I've done uh, a little bit more work to it 
So we made some uh, pretty good progress on the kit now. Uh, we've got all of the little guns down um, all of the sides. They've had the two coats of paint that they needed uh, on the brass barrels. Um, you can just just about see them actually there. I mean they are the same colour as the uh, the sides there. So they've been done, they're finished um, and they still do move about as well which is fantastic. So we can get this little gun here um, if we can, there we go, and we can just move those about a little bit. Um, so that's that's fantastic. So they can be positioned any way you like them. Uh, we've also got the uh, gun decks here as well that have been done. Uh, these can move um, if you want them to, but they are a little bit stiff, uh, and it did take a little bit of force to actually get them down in there. So um, it might just be best to leave those um, in that position. Uh, but they're done and they're looking good. I'm just working on the anchors as well that go on the uh, the front of the ship. Um, we've got one anchor that goes on this side here and then on the other side we've got two anchors. Um, they're all painted up, they're still on the sprue. Um, and that's what one of them looks like. Uh, and then there's a couple of little bits that you need to put on to those as well, there's one little bit, they're just there, they're quite small. Um, they need to be glued onto the anchor and then kind of um, pushed up into uh, this section here. So just working on those, just need a little bit more work done to those um, and I can spray them down whilst they're on the, uh, on the spruce steel uh, and then chop them off, touch up the bits that need doing and then get them on. The other thing that we're working on is the uh, the floodlights as well. Uh, they go on the uh, chimney stack, just there, uh, and also on the other side. There are uh, well, there is a little brass bit that fits on uh, the surface of those. Uh, that's already be pre uh, been pre-painted uh, on the uh, photo etch brew. So all I need to do is just take those off, glue those onto this bit. Um, and then I can lacquer those uh, just to help protect the paintwork. I have actually, as you can see, sprayed the inside of that. Um, whoops, sorry, that's slightly out of camera there. Um, I've actually um, painted the inside white. Uh, the little figures, they've now had uh, the two coats of the blue on them. Um, so all I need to do now with these is. Uh, do the not so envious job of uh, painting the faces and the hands uh, and also the boots and then once that's done again I can just spray those down um, and then I can start taking those off those sprues and then just painting the back sides of them uh, where they've come off the sprue be able to get those on the deck then um, but at the moment to be fair we're not that far away from actually getting to getting the model to the point uh, where I won't be able to do any more work on it until such time that it's on the base. So it's only just these few bits. The figures um, are going to be sort of second from last, really. Uh, possibly might even be the last uh, job to go. Uh, I've still got another couple of derricks to go onto the kit. There's one that needs to go uh, just here uh, and also on the other side. And then we've also got another derrick that fits on just down here as well uh, on this part here but again I can't really do those until such time as I've got the railing on so there's a few jobs that are queued up waiting uh, to be done once the models onto the seascape and secured properly uh, so as soon as I've got these last little bits finished um, I will come back to you so you can see what it looks like and then uh, I think we're going to need to call it quits on this video then and then uh, it just be a case of uh, the next uh, next video hopefully um, it'd be on the seascape permanently and then uh, we just uh, finish the work off from there uh, so as soon as I've got the work done I will come back to you managed to finalize the last few bits on the kit uh, that I can do before it does go on the stand oh sorry the uh, the seascape so if we just uh, zoom in there were a couple of bits that I did actually forget um, that needed to be done uh, so it's lucky that uh, I was reading the instructions really uh, but if we go down here uh, you'll see just here uh, we've got another derrick boom 
uh, and it's also uh, one on the same uh, on the other side as well. That's exactly the same. So that's him. Uh, that's actually right on the outside of the uh, the ship there, and the railings actually go on the inside of that line there. So that's that's fine. Um, so I'm glad I got those in. And then if we go to the front of the ship, uh, you'll also see just there another uh, Derek Boom uh, that's in place. And then here we've also got the uh, Derek Boom support. And let's see if we can just tilt that model slightly so you can see it a little better a little bit better. There you go, hopefully you can see it there. Um if we tilt it to that side, there you go, you can see that a little bit better. So there's the Derek arm su uh, support, and the boom's just sitting there. So they're in, and again, that's exactly the same on the other side as well. And then if we just uh, pan to the middle side of the ship, there we go. So we've got the uh, two searchlights uh, in place, and again, exactly the same on the other side. <laughs> Um, so they're in and done. The other thing that I have been working on uh, is the little men. Uh, if you just zoom out for this, there we go. Let's. Uh... So these are the little men, and hopefully the camera will focus on those. Hopefully you can see uh, the little faces on them. And also the little uh, little hands that we've got on them as well. Uh, the boots have also been done in black, uh, but you can't really see those. I mean, to be quite honest, I can't even really see the boots with my magnifying glass on either. So um, I'd be very surprised if you was actually uh, managed to catch the uh, the black on those. So that's what they're looking like. Um, I won't be taking those off the sprue until I'm actually ready to um, put those onto the ship. Um, that will be the second from last job. The very last job really will to be to put the railings on. Uh, I haven't come up with uh, a definitive plan yet either of as to where they're going to go on the deck. Um, I'm just going to put them anywhere really to be quite honest. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll be putting any in the little crow's nests at all. Um, but you know I, I just put them wherever the mood takes me really to be quite honest um, when I get around to doing it. Uh, there have been a couple of suggestions that um, I do a little bit, a bit of a Leonardo uh, sort of Caprio sort of thing at the front uh, in Titanic, but I'm not going to do that because that would be a bit cheesy. One of the other things that somebody suggested to me as well is the fact that because I've got a couple of those figures that have uh, somehow lost their heads, to uh, just put those on the deck somewhere uh, with a little bit of a pool of blood around the stump. Um, you certainly would add a little bit of realism to the model, I guess, but I'm not going to do that because you know that's a bit horrific, really. Um, um, you know, and, it, and it, this model is for my mum, so you know, um, I don't think she'd like a, I don't think she'd like the kind of gruesome details like that on the ship. Uh, but that's about it, really, for the moment. Um, I'm just still waiting on the stand to come in. Um, it's being worked on at the moment. The actual uh, Perspex case has been made. Uh, and that's looking really, really good. Um, it's looking a little bit like a goldfish tank, uh, an upside down goldfish tank at the moment. Uh, but that's uh, around my friend's house who's building the uh, the base for me. Um, so he can get the measurements he needs to route out the, um, the circumference for the glass case, or sorry, for the Perspex case. So it just actually fits into the stand itself. Um, so hopefully, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that I should get that by, uh, by this weekend. Or, sorry next weekend um, and then I'll be able to start work on that I certainly really do would like to get hold of that before the end of March really to be quite honest um, as I said I've only got until the 23rd of April and that is going to take a, a couple of weeks to uh, to deal with but uh, yeah that's about where we are um, so I'm going to call it quits on this video uh, as, so as soon as I've got the base uh, in and I've started working on it I will come back to you until then, thanks for watching and please do take care.